Right now on Vacation Creation. It's a carefree Caribbean and South American voyage for an Army veteran and the woman who changed his life forever. She really helped me get over some of the challenges that I was facing. They'll share a getaway of unforgettable sights. It was so exciting to be here and learn all the historical things about Cartagena. Magic moment. One, two, three. I'm really curious to know what Alejandro wished at the wishing well. And a life-changing surprise for a vacation they won't soon forget. Oh my gosh. And it's all coming up right now on Vacation Creation. I'm Tommy Davidson. And I'm Andrea Fetchko. We're traveling the world to give amazing families and friends the vacation of a lifetime. Join us for spectacular destinations. Unexpected surprises. And a voyage you'll never forget. Watch dreams come true on Vacation, vacation Creation. creation. We just set sail from Fort Lauderdale on Caribbean Princess to, you guessed it, the Caribbean. The Caribbean Sea is located in the Atlantic Ocean and is one of the world's largest seas at about 1,063,000 square miles. The deepest point is the Cayman Trench, which is between the Cayman Islands and Jamaica and is 25,220 feet below sea level. This is one of the deepest points on the Earth's surface, making the Caribbean Sea the deepest sea in the world. And it's also one of the oldest. It's estimated to be between 160 to 180 million years old. But now the Caribbean Sea serves as a romantic backdrop for an army veteran and the love of his life. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this story. I joined the army when I was 17, so right out of high school. I turned 18 while in basic training, so very, very young. It was really challenging for me once I got out, um, you know, with what's, you know, mentally and just and physically. So having Alejandra during that time as I transition out has helped out immensely. He works full time, he goes to school full time, he's graduating with his master's. So I'm just so proud of him. He has done so much and he does so much for me as well. But Josh has a big surprise for Alejandra. They'll make this vacation getaway extra special. Take a look. Thank you, Vacation Creation, for giving us this vacation. I cannot express how excited I am. And I really would like to make this vacation extra special by proposing marriage to the love of my life, Alejandra. Woo, I'm so excited! But Tommy, can you keep a secret? I don't have a problem keeping a secret. I'm worried about you. My lips are sealed. Then let's go and eat the family. Mm-hmm. Hey, Josh, how's it going? Hey, hey. 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 You ready for this? Yes. yes. We're so excited. Well, you guys, welcome to your vacation. You. Josh, you nominated Alejandra. I did. Love your life. We've been Sorry. dating for three years, and okay. this is our first vacation together. Well, we have a lot planned for you, but first, before we do anything, we want you guys to dress up, because we are going to dinner. Nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Sounds good. All right, awesome. What should I wear? Oh, I can help you with that. Come with me. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll get ready <laughs> together. Bye. Okay. <laughs> so, are you going to propose? I am. Are you ready? I am. Are you sure? Yes, I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready. Okay, breathe. I'm breathing, I'm breathing. <laughs> We're going in. We're sailing on the crystal clear waters of the Caribbean Sea to South America, and we're about to have our first meal together. The Spanish and Portuguese traveled these waters to South America in the 16th century and shaped the culinary history of the continent. These European influences, mixed with the indigenous cultures, helped to create a cuisine that includes staple foods such as corn, potatoes, beans, and a variety of fresh vegetables and exotic fruit. The long coastline also means a lot of fresh seafood, which makes up one of the most popular South American dishes, ceviche. So, Josh, uh, you nominated Alejandra for this vacation. Tell us why you did that. You know, I, I had to nominate her because I was in the Army for almost 10 years, and when I joined um, right out of high school, I found myself going straight overseas, and that, that was what probably one of the most challenging things I faced, was at such a young age, you don't really know what you want to do, and I joined the military and found myself in Iraq at 18 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And meeting Alejandra after I got out just was a blessing. She really helped me focus on which direction I wanted to go to get, get over some of the challenges and barriers that I was facing as I transitioned. And 
It means the world to me to have her in my life. Wow, that sounds like enough to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, he deserves this a lot too because he sacrificed a lot. You know, at 17, you're a teenager, you're already going through a lot. And I feel like, you know, those 10 years, he missed out on a lot of things with his family and overall, you know, so I feel like you deserve this a lot too. And I heard you guys met in a very fun way. We did. Salsa dancing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know, yes. Um, I was stationed in Washington, okay. D.C., okay. and I didn't know anybody, and I found myself at a salsa club by accident, and I met Alejandra. He asked me to dance, and I was like, wow, he's an amazing dancer. And I was like, we had this connection, this chemistry, something very special that I never had before, and I was like, I don't know, something about him, it was like incredible. This is then. We're here now. You are here. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. Well, we have a lot planned for you guys. Yes, we do. We are going to be going to Colombia, which Alejandra, you know a lot about, right? Yes. <laughs> so I was born and raised in Bogota, Colombia. So romantic. The culture, the cuisine is amazing. That'd be awesome. So that's, excited. That's, and then we're awesome. also going to be going to Eleuthera, which is known as the birthplace of the Bahamas. It's kind of a sliver of an island. It's 100 miles long, but only two miles wide. There's oh, beautiful yeah. sandy beaches, a lot of royal royalty goes there. So because you guys haven't had a vacation, I think this will be great for you oh too. Oh my gosh, awesome. that is amazing. <laughs> you guys enjoy your meal because we got so much to do. Yes. You guys are going to have so much fun. I know, oh, excited. we're excited. We're excited. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You're Thank you. You're welcome. Coming up, it's a journey back to Alejandra's home country. It's so valuable to me to be able to learn about the country she's from. It's time to test your knowledge with Tommy's Trivia. Which large bird sits on top of Columbia's coat of arms? Is it A, the Andean condor, B, the bald eagle, C, the seahawk, or D, the king vulture? You think you got the answer? We'll stick around to find out. Before the break, we asked, which large bird sits on the top of Columbia's coat of arms? If you guessed A, you were right. The Andean condor are pretty big birds, among the largest in the world that are able to fly. They can weigh up to 33 pounds and have a wingspan of up to 10 and a half feet. And it's a pretty popular bird, too. It's not only the national bird of Colombia, but of Bolivia, Chile, and Ecuador. Hey, you guys. Oh, wow. oh, hey. Awesome. So happy to be here. Well, welcome to Cartagena, Colombia. Cartagena is a major port city located on the northern coast of Colombia, facing the Caribbean Sea. Europeans started exploring the Americas in the 15th century, but it wasn't until 1533 that a permanent settlement was established by Don Pedro de Heredia, who named the city after Cartagena, Spain. In fact, the city was originally built on several islands at the end of the bay in Colombia, but later, the marshes that surrounded these islands were filled in, connecting Cartagena to the coast. Today, we have something very special for just you two. Oh, really? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, we can't wait. So All exciting. right, then, what are we waiting for? Let's, Let's do it. <laughs> you guys, what do you think? This is yes. awesome. Welcome to Cartagena Thank de Indias. You. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Today, you're going to learn a lot about Cartagena de Indias. And we wanted it to be the most romantic way to see Cartagena. So Tommy and I will leave you two in good hands with Arthur, and we'll see you guys a little bit later. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, have a good time. The old city is divided in three neighborhoods. Hexamani, San Diego, and Santo Domingo. And today, we're going to see the most beautiful city in South America, surrounded by a wall. Cartagena, yes, is... Why, why is it surrounded by walls? What's okay, the history of that? Well, we have uh, pirates who were attacking Cartagena. At the beginning, the Spanish people get crazy for gold. And twice a year, the galleons were full of gold, and they were sending the gold to Spain. So they built the walls to protect from the pirates that were trying to steal the gold. Yes. Oh, 
Okay, take a look. Uh, in Spanish, we say bóvedas, but in English, you say dungeons. Dungeons? Uh, dungeons. Oh, yes. It was most of the time full of weapons, but when it was empty, uh, sometimes the soldiers used to sleep there. Sure. They oh, take it to okay. bedrooms when it was empty. And now, the dungeons is a shopping center. Oh, look who is arriving here. Oh, These hi. are our palenqueras. They sell fruits. You can see the bananas, uh, papaya, pineapples, pears. And, and the beautiful dress that she has on is the color of the... <laughs> Yes, yes right? this is the national color of Colombia, yellow, blue, and red. So even though I'm not from Cartagena, I was born and raised in Bogota, Colombia, it was so exciting to be here and learn all the historical things about Cartagena. It's so beautiful. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the great tour. We learned so much yes, about Cartagena. Really appreciate it. Beautiful so city, much. and thank you for sharing your city with us. Goodbye, amigos. Hasta la vista. Coming up is a little lesson in Latin dancing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, hello. There you are. Hi. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Hey. Oh, it was great. I'm glad I got to learn more about Colombia since she's from Colombia. Okay. We also remember from dinner that you're very excited about the Colombian food. So, Tommy and I have a little surprise for you guys. Oh, go, go. Show it, show it. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. So these are called arepa de huevo. Okay. And pretty much is a thick tortilla mm -hmm. with a fried egg inside. Ooh. Yeah. Sounds good to me. So <laughs> no matter what part you're from Colombia, you can eat it this at any time. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, here we go. Thank you. Salud. Salud. There we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. This is amazing. It's like a pancake meets eggs. Pretty much. You're talking about flavor. Cartagena has flavor, you guys. Yes, we do. Oh, my. <laughs> On three, Cartagena. Okay. Uno, dos, tres. Cartagena! <laughs> All right, I'm going to get going again. <laughs> Let's go. So we know that you met salsa dancing, yes. and Tommy and I don't know a thing about salsa. Really? So we thought this would be a perfect opportunity for us to learn. Yes, we'd love to teach you guys. Yeah, yeah we figure you guys are here. The dance floor is here. Exactly. We're here. We're not the only ones here. Does anybody else want to learn how to salsa with us? Yeah, like, yeah. Get up here. I hope right. that's okay. We invited Frank. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so just a quick history about salsa dancing. It originated in Cuba. And during the, the Cuban War in 1898, the American soldiers adopted it and brought it back over to the US. And so now we have salsa dancing. There's also a different type of Latin dancing. There's bachata, there's cha-cha, merengue, cumbia, but tonight we're gonna learn how to salsa. Okay, I'll okay. demonstrate first. All right, so count one is left foot first. One, count two is your right foot being stationary. You just lift it up and then step back down. That's okay. two, so one, one two, two, three, three, and pause is four. So one, two, two three, three. Pause, okay. right foot back, five, and then your left foot stationary, six, six. right foot together, seven. seven, pause. Okay, so if everybody can face their partner, okay. we're gonna try this. Out. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Uh -oh. Tommy and Andrea, they learned really fast. They did. Seems like yes. Tommy's already got some uh, experience with dancing. Yeah, they had a lot of shoulder and hips movement. <laughs> they did great. You know what, you guys? <laughs> we just want to watch the pros. Is that okay? Yes. Wait, let's yeah, do it. it. All Here's right. The, the secret to being a good salsa dancer is going out there and practice. A lot of times when you first start, you're very timid, and you see all these great dancers, and you don't want to go out there and ask them. But you have to ask the experienced ones in order to learn and become a better dancer. Hi. That's not what we learned. <laughs> That's not what we learned. Two, two, and bam! Coming up, will Joshua and Alejandro's wishes come true in the Bahamas? Well, I think while we're here, we should make a wish. Yeah, make a wish in the Bahamas. One, two, three. How you guys doing? Hey, hey. How's it going? Is it good? Hey, hey. Good. Good. 
How you doing yourself so far? Yeah, we're so excited good, for this. Good, good. <laughs> Welcome to the Bahamas, you guys. There are more than 700 islands, islets, and keys that make up the Bahamas. But today, you guys are going to Princess Keys, a private destination on the island of Eleuthera. Eleuthera is only about two miles wide and 100 miles long, with a population around 11,000 people. The island was largely unpopulated until 1648, when the first European settlers arrived. These settlers were known as the Eleutheran Adventurers, and one of them, Captain William Sale, gave the island its name, which in Greek means free. Eleuthera is also the birthplace of the Bahamas and is the favorite spot of British royalty. Queen Elizabeth II's youngest son, Prince Edward, actually proposed to his beloved Sophie here in 1999. That's right, and today we're gonna let you two go free. Yep. On a bicycle tour. Hey. Would you like that? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Nice. Like that. Yeah, let's do it, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so, you're gonna propose, right? I am. I'm very ready, I got the right. ring, we're good to go. Hello. Hello. Hello, guys. Hi. Welcome to the beautiful Bannerman Town, Eleuthera, Bahamas. My name is Cornell. I will be your lead tour guide for this morning. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. We're very Here's excited. your bikes. Let's do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Mangrove Lagoon. And a lagoon is considered to be a body of water that is surrounded by land that has one opening, and this one runs directly from the Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean Sea. Now, this lagoon has become a breeding ground for many, many marine life, such as lemon sharks, nurse sharks, barracudas, sea cucumbers, sea urchins, squids, clams, jellyfish. So right now, we have the black sea urchin. So if you step on them, some persons become paralyzed from it. I don't think we're going to go swimming in yeah, here. No, we'll no, skip no. that part. <laughs> <laughs> no, the island is incredible and there's a lot to see, but what makes it more enjoyable for me is being with Alejandra. That's, that means the world to me. So we are now at St. Mary the Virgin's Anglican Church, and this was built in the early 1700s. This was a very, very popular church, but because of past Hawkins that actually came through, it destroyed the structure. So we then moved it to a different location. When I first saw the church, I mean, the wall is still standing. It's been over 300 years. It was built in the 1700s. And I mean, it's, it's pretty historical. OK, guys, welcome to the beautiful settlement of Bannerman Town. And Bannerman Town got its name from a former governor by the name of Alexander Bannerman. Now this that you see here is a wishing well, and this was introduced by European folklore. Now our ancestors told us that whatever wish was made to the well was actually granted, and that's because of the special water it held inside. It has spirits also known as deities. Well, I think while we're here, we should make a wish. Yeah, make a wish in the Bahamas. Let's do it. All right, one, two, three. I'm really curious to know what Alejandra wished at the wishing well. I can't tell you won't come true, right? Wasn't that so much fun? It's amazing. What a nice surprise. <gasps> Look at that view. Yeah, this is breathtaking. It is so gorgeous. It's been an incredible experience. <sighs> it has. And there's been something I've been wanting to ask you for a long time. Oh my gosh. Alejandra Salazar, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> oh, babe. I love you so much. I love you so much. I was extremely shocked. I didn't expect him to propose here, but he made my dream come true. I mean, we're in paradise. Should I say how to go? Actually. I said yes. Yes, <laughs> and we are really? engaged. This has been an incredible vacation. It's been great to not only experience it with Alejandra and go to her country that she's from, which is so valuable to me to be able to learn about the country she's from. And it was also a great experience to see the island of Eleuthera and learn about the history there. Lastly, 
I am so glad that I get to spend the rest of my life with the love of my life. Me too, baby. Love you. I love you. One, two, three, vacation, vacation creation! creation.